Holly police have released a timeline on what happened on that day, which was ac exactly uh, one week ago today when they shot and killed the man that they say was firing shots at people near a school in southeastern Raleigh. Here's CBS 17's Haley Fixler. He went up to the car in front of me and like tried to open the door and then... I ran the light to go away from him. It took just four minutes after the first few frantic 911 calls. There's a boy in the middle of the street shooting his gun. I'm, I work at the school. I was about to turn on the road, and he shot at my car. For Raleigh police to come to this area by Ligon Magnet Middle School Monday, March 27th. Moments later, the school went on lockdown. Um, I had to drop my tears off this school. In this just-released internal investigative report, police are revealing the timeline behind these moments. They received 12 calls that morning from people in the neighborhood detailing the location of the man with the gun firing at people. The citizens of Raleigh, your immediate calls and your continuous updates aided in our response. At 7.06 a.m., three RPD officers and a canine spot Jorge Luis Vega Lasama on Cumberland Street. They say when they got out of their patrol cars, he fired at them, forcing them to hide behind their cars. Just fired. Just fired. Suspect is shooting at us. Suspect is actively firing at us. One officer fired back before Vega Lasama hid behind this home. Moments later, investigators say he came back out front and shot at officers again. That's when a second officer shot him four more times. One bullet hit his head, killing him. Raleigh police say they are seeking the release of the body camera and dash camera footage in the spirit of transparency. Now, when we tried to find out more about, I tried to find out more about Vega Lasama, and we could not find any record of him, where he lived, or even how old he was. I did ask Raleigh police, but they told me they couldn't expand on anything that was not in the report. Live in Raleigh, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, Haley, thank you.